Hi everyone, this is Matt from Snake House Exotics. Um, we're looking today at uh, a tortoise that has got a respiratory infection. Um, snakes, lizards, uh, tortoises and so on, they can all get respiratory infections. Um, signs of respiratory infections are um, in snakes uh, and tortoises and lizards all breathing through their mouths as opposed through the nostrils. Uh, so you'll see signs of having their mouths open for long periods of times. Um, also bubbles coming out of nostrils uh, with snakes again bubbles coming out of the mouth uh, some snakes will wipe their mouths against the sides of enclosures so you'll see mucus along sides of uh, glass and, and the sides and, and the backs of enclosures these are all signs of respiratory infections also uh, with snakes um, looking straight up into the air with the mouths open is another sign of respiratory infection now with respiratory infections you need to go to the vet and get uh, an antibiotic usually Baytril or something like that um, Baytril comes in two forms, there's an oral uh, and there's an injectable uh, personally I prefer the oral Baytril um, the injectable Baytril can be slightly necrotic so you can actually get some of the tissue uh, the, the surrounding tissue where you've injected the animal um, actually wasting away and being eaten away by the Baytril. So I prefer the uh, the oral Baytril which is just pumped basically into the mouth of the reptile via a syringe. Um, but today another thing you can do what I'm going to show you is nebulize the reptile which is quite an easy thing to do. Um, and what I've got here is a humidifier. It's a straightforward room humidifier. Um, you can also use foggers. Uh, they work quite well. Um, and what I've got is a tub with the lid, I've got a hole cut out in the lid and there are a few air, uh, air holes around the tub, around the sides of the tub but we'll get a piece of pipe like this and I've basically got a deli cup made a hole in the deli cup and the pipe protrudes through the top of the, or the bottom of the deli cup is then taped in place the pipe fits into the hole and this basically, this is just a waste pipe, flexible waste pipe that you can you can buy at any uh, home base, MFI, uh, B and Q, anywhere like that, or Home Depot store if you're in the states. And that basically fits on there. And all the steam that comes out of here, because the water that's filled in here that I filled in here, basically gets heated by an element in the bottom. Steam, hot steam comes up, goes through the pipe, enters into the box. So the last thing to do is to put the tortoise into the box. This is a little leopard tortoise here. Um, he's been on a course of uh, oral baytril and we've also been nebulizing him and he's doing a lot better. A lot better today. I can't see any bubbles coming out of his nose. He's a lot brighter today. So we'll put him in the box. Typically I would leave him in there for about half an hour, uh, nebulise him for about half an hour. All those vapours, even though it's only even though it's only water that's going in there, um, I don't know if you if, if you've ever done this or you know of this, but if ever you if you've had a bad cold, a bad head cold or something, you can put your head over a bowl full of uh, boiling water, steaming water, put a towel over your head, breathe in the vapours, get that water, that steam through your system and it it helps clear you out. This is exactly the same process. Now, at the moment, all I'm, all I'm using is water. You can put, um, in a very small quantity, F10, which is a disinfectant that you use for spraying on your bowls, uh, for husbandry techniques, basically, sanitizing areas that the reptiles living and uh, drink from and, and so on. You can actually put a small quantity of that in the water uh, because it's an antibacteria, uh, antibacterial. Uh, solution it will actually get rid of the bacteria in the reptile it will help the reptile fight that infection so basically what we're doing nebulizing the reptile is um, the steam the increased heat and humidity will help clear those nasal passages um, any mucus or anything like that it'll help that come out and the reptile will be able to expel that um, so much easier by using uh, by using these methods, and it's just a little tip. It's just something that could help 
Um, if you've got a reptile, it could be a snake, a lizard, tortoise, anything basically with a rep, uh, with a respiratory infection, an RI. Um, this really works. It really works. But also, you need with the respiratory infection, you will need to go to the vets and uh, obviously seek professional advice as well. Um, and obviously, that I would think they would give you Batril or something along those lines uh, to help combat um, the infection, the bacterial infection. So, thanks for watching today. I hope this has been of help. Um, any questions, feel free to message me or leave comments. Um, if I haven't covered anything, by all means, just get in touch and I'll, I'll try and clear that up. Um, okay, we'll see you all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.